Okay, so we did 20XX. I'm not going to focus on day one or our first round matches. I'm just going to go from top 16 onward and uh, talk about a run like last time. Definitely improvement over our NA Open run and was a lot interesting to go over. So I'm going to talk about it. And I'm going to focus a bit more on my individual POV this time around rather than an overhead thing and kind of talk about what goes on. So I'll be swapping uh, between those. But our comp pretty much the entire time was the same thing. So. Start with our opening. And here we're kind of worried for the Tetra. This was actually a bit of miscommunication. Arashi was supposed to be right at the start and me on the left. So I had to rotate around and it was a little slow. But luckily I hit my flick on the Tetra. And I was able to get the machine to trade. So it ended up fine. Because we traded but we had the more valuable trades compared to their team. So it works out totally fine here. Unfortunately, Storm goes down after, but Arashi's able to clean the fight because it would have been really bad if we lost here. Pushing forward here was good. Yeah, thank you for the sub, Digit. I appreciate it. Tier 3. Absolutely insane. Uh, I backed off here, and I, I burst bombed the wrong person, so this wasn't a trade. But this was still fine. Like, I still weaken people, and we fight, and then the crab, and we fight. Here, I kind of called to disengage because we were too many people in one spot. This goalie all went crazy. Thank you, guys. Um, here I kind of just got stuck with the sword so I had to run to the corner. I tried to play for Zip Caster in order to buy some time, but I think I... Yeah, I think I died in this one first. If I got Zip off, we would have probably won the fight immediately. But luckily, Storm shut down the Tetra fast. So, this ended up not being too bad. Mech was able to crab. Storm was able to get in. The Zip didn't really do too much from Zara. So, we were able to just kind of walk in here. And th this match was just kind of like... This... This set against Graveyard was tricky because these were maps we weren't good at. Like, TC Haggle is one I don't think we won a single time in uh, practice at all. Like, we always lost on this map mode. And the reason I'll, I'll get to later, because the opening neutral bit is, like, this is where we usually do fine. Like, it's very easy to play sides on this map with QR. Like, especially in Tower. Because in the other modes, the right flank is weaker, but on Tower, this is actually good flank. So we have two side routes, and it's just way easier for us to, like, force favorable fights so this was really good for us and like if if the other thing is like if we do fight on left and someone dies here look how far they are from the objective in this mode uh this was kind of my first major b though i split between the splash and the stamper i should have just focused one of them because i ended up killing neither would have been much better to pick one target and so because of that, I end up being in a really bad spot, and we get wiped before the checkpoint. We ended up getting 7th. Uh, we were seated 10, so we still out outplaced our seed a good bit, but we really should have gone 5th, and I'll, I'll talk about that. Uh, or sorry, I like at least gone 5th, and I'll talk about that in a bit. But there was a bit of a silly mistake by me. Anyway, zip caster happened here. This zip I wasn't worried about at all. It didn't really target anything, and I just killed it. Uh... Stamper zip is very easy to kill if you know how. So most of the time Zara's would zip, I would just like pay attention to it. So most of the time I just punished like any zip caster of his that had a chance of getting value. Uh, like you just wait for it to get on the wall at the right time. But this slider was absolutely devastating. Like Orion got in and this was like, our splasher should not have been down here, especially since I was top guarding from uh, the zip caster. There was no reason for the splashers to play the low grounds. So this was just kind of a positioning error. We got really lucky, though, to clean it up early because we found a kill. Me and Arashi tag team Zara, and we immediately got our plat back. And they just were absolutely screwed. You can't Booyah against us because our entire team shreds Booyah, so you can't Booyah up close. And then from here, I just called for help. Like, I didn't want to risk dying to the jump from Orion, so I just had help with it. And from here, we have four specials, and they're just dead. I think Arashi, like, collided two people here or something because they died almost instantly. But this is the part where we really struggle, because normally the Splatanas push very far ahead of the objective. But on this map, second check and onward, you just can't get there. So for our comp, it's really awkward. And at the same time, you can't zip caster the right wall on this map, because it you can't zip to it. It counts as out of bounds. So zip caster doesn't even help here. So, like, this is that's why this map is really horrible for us. We're very dependent on the two crab tanks. Um... So what I what I opted to do here is because I noticed the machine was further back, I opted to zip here and just use my zip duration to keep the machine out and guarantee the checkpoint. Because if I can force the checkpoint without us having to use a crab, then we have two crabs for this push. So that was my idea. Unfortunately, the Tetra just kills people and my burst bomb gets cut off by the pull. 
I would have just killed him if my burst bomb did not hit the pole, but because it hit that, I don't get the kill. And I felt really bad about that one. That was unfortunate. But, like, we cleared the checkpoint, which is good. Because then it's much easier to set up the double crab we need. Uh, from here, we just punish the Tetra. Just usual stamper. Almost kills Tetra. Easy by itself. Uh, I push the sword into a corner. Rashi takes care of the other splash. Because it's just a range advantage. I'm I'm sitting there holding my uh, charge in case the stamper tried to zip toward us. But they didn't. So in this case, the machine does get out, which is actually kind of bad for us, because they might get Booyah. But here, Arashi went in, and I'm just trying to, like, cover this ledge. They did have Booyah, but here I think we just fucked up on the kill in the Tetra. Like, Orion just... I, I don't know how I missed that second one, so this was just, like, mechanically. We played very weak here. Um, but we did have Crab, so it was fine, but we had to burn one Crab in mid, and then I misjudged where the sword was camping me, so I messed up there. I think I played really bad this, uh, first game. Like, I think I did really, really poor this game. And I know my KD is positive, but, like, you'll hear this a lot. Like, Museum, I went 6 and 15, and I played amazing. And this game, I went, uh, like, 14 and 11, and I played bad. That That's just Splatoon 3 for you. The KD does not dictate things. Um, here I decided to take Tower, because I knew Arashi could take care of the Wiper by its the Tetra by itself, because Wiper Tetra is a very easy matchup. Like, for the most part, just because of the range and the mobility. So, I just knew Arashi could handle that one. And if Arashi handled that, I could move tower and get the tower over here. And my plan here was to zip ahead and cover the tower. And Storm would just crab tower here. We have a crab in mid to cut off flanks, and this is just guaranteed lead. Like, they can't do anything here. Um, Storm did drop and get picked, so we actually messed this up completely. Like, this should have just been a free lead with the crab tank. But I killed Orion, and I just zipped back to tower. And by the time I zip away again, we have someone else, like, Arashi just climbs on and it's lead. Uh, they pop Booyah Bomb. Another, like, I thought they would die there, then I thought they would die to the burst combo, so I just got Mega thrown off, but I still killed him and the Tetra. And then from there, it, it's just GG. The Splash is not going to get the tower, and we're fine. Very messy game to start with, but we had a really good push at the end. It's just, uh... I mechanically messed up a lot, and it's really difficult for our comp to push the top right. Their comp should have probably, like... They should have way more defensively kept us out of the top side, but they didn't really seem to care about it, even though our comp was bad at it, so we got kind of lucky there, to me. Um, then there's this map. And this is also a map we, like, never went on, but we had, like, a perfect first two minutes here. Or not, like, perfect, but it was really close to that. I played really well this game. I, I just put the replay on Twitter afterward. I was so happy with this game. So they tried to fight us on comp, which, on pop, which is already a mistake. Uh, you are not beating this comp at a pop with their comp. Like, you just will not win. Like, Stamper... The only things that outpop Stamper are Sploosh and Reflux. That's it. And then Wiper is fifth strongest. Like, it's only two below Stamper in terms of speeds. Even with the Stamper of their own, they just have no chance of popping the shield. So because they went for pop, their positioning was really bad immediately. Like, notice nobody's on the spinner. So all they had was early crab here from the one person who didn't go pop. Which we did have to play around, so it slowed us down. But, like, if we get a, if we get a single kill, they're in really bad shape. Because we have the entire center. Yeah, they're just chilling. I, I don't care to have a VC here. It doesn't matter. So, because of that, I got a really nice uh, charge slash combo. I got a really good flick onto the splash. Arashi, I believe, pushed someone off the map and someone else died. And this is just horrible for them immediately. So, we got a really good push to the right. I heard they pop crab. So, I just we just played for check immediately. From here, I was preparing to, like, pop and grab Rainmaker. And try to get Rainmaker ahead. Because with this spot, if the Rainmaker dies and they pop shield, it's really bad. So I wanted to grab and get Rain up. Yeah, both uh, both bows do very good Rainmaker shield damage. But I wanted to get up here and just kind of move Rain in front. In this case, I kind of just bait them. And then, like, I go down, but their positioning is absolutely screwed because all of them just dive. But our positioning is better and we have a crab anyway. So we just set up and crab. And this is what makes, like, the double splash so good with this. It's like one crab survives... And the whole team is just back. And now it's like nothing ever happened. Especially since I also have two sub special savers. So if I ever just get a kill and live, I'm going to have zip. Like, you'll see, I die twice in this fight. 
And I still get a zip caster. Like, Stamper Paint plus two sub special saver is so strong. I don't even need comeback for it, and you just get uh, zip sub faster. They tried to run Rain away, which I think was a mistake, but we got a good kill here. And from here, Arashi in their spawn gets the Tetra again. So from here, I need to go pair with Arashi Stamp immediately, since Stamp and Zip are both very vulnerable, but at the same time, the little protection they provide if used together makes it very hard to kill both. So I just use Zip, like, more to get armor than anything else. But the sword ends up trying to, like, rush rain, so I just go for the sword instead, because it's a guaranteed kill. Zip away, and then this is fine. And then from here, I'm just trying to stall, but this ended up, like, being huge for me, because for whatever reason, I got away with way more than I should. Like, this was just a stall, but I ended up killing three people. And if we did this, like, a frame sooner, this would have just been a straight-up knockout, but the Tetra clutches the game, so we don't lose. I just want Stamper to have a more mid line -y kit so it can be better and more comps. Uh, so from there, we got a wipe, and we're wiped out. But, like, that was... Like, that whole push was just... Like, playing into Graveyard's aggression with Stamper Tetra, but doing it in a way that we always come out on top of fights and just continue to refight them over and over again, and they just cannot, like, burn through everything. Uh, after this, we position too aggressively, so the jumps were really bad. Arashi still buys, like, an absurd amount of time, because Wiper is just ridiculously fast, so he buys, like, a whole five seconds. I died of the slider, which is just me being stupid. Um, but, like, even then, like, all they get here is checkpoint. They have no position here, and the Tetra is still not gonna, like, get enough value. So it's like, we're still fine. Uh, like, even with the mess up, because the Wiper bought so much time that they weren't able to, like, they needed to get situated in here, but only the Tetra made it. From here, we just opted to play, like, super defensively, because we know they have to get all the way to the checkpoint, so it's like, we, we can perfectly play more passive here. Uh, Mecha gets behind, they unfortunately grab right before the reset, but Arashi just is able to, like, stall for a bit, Stamp misses, it happens, I get in front, we have Crab, and... From here, I just zip to pair with the crab. Zara zips as well. And I think... I think I don't... Yeah, I get... Where am I? I, like, just zip around eventually, try to, like, cut off the stamper and kill stamper. And then from here, they're just all down except for Orion. So we're just able to get Orion. Pretty... Like, again, Wiper, Tetra, just Wiper... The mobility is crazy. Like, Wiper missed so many shots, and it's still just completely, like shuts down tetra and fights it's so strong like wiper horizontal can hit tetra really reliably and it just moves so fast it's really like the tetra has to laser the wiper really fast or they just lose the fight it's really good so from here i'm like i'm just stalling until i think i'm remotely in danger i saw the crab get a hit on me and i'm like okay i'm off the map and we're just gonna reset it like whatever here was where it was actually really scary though because it was just storm and Storm was not able to get away. So I knew I had to immediately, like, go for this Tetra. So I go and I charge slash and kill the Tetra. And then from here, I know I can just bully the sword out. So I just kill the Tetra and then bully the sword and then we're fine. Uh, but that was really scary because Storm went down. So, like, if I did not get one of those kills, it would have been really bad. Uh, Mecha gets crap from here. And here's where we actually make our big mistake this game. It is just the splash... And we, like, first of all, Stamp is just, does not work. Um, but we, we just get picked here. Like, we go three down, and there's a jump, so I just opt to grab Rain. Like, I probably could have killed the sword. But if I grab Rain, I'm guaranteed, like, another five seconds, because their team is dead. So I just figured, screw it, let's just grab the Rain, and then make them kill me, and then we buy more time. So from here, it was totally fine. And now, they set up again. We pick off Orion again. Like, it, once Arashi isn't going behind them a lot, like, because we have such a good leader, Arashi can just focus on Orion a lot. And it's just really difficult for him to do things. Here, sword zip caster as we weaken the sword. Uh, I kill the sword here because I'm like, I know he's climbing up a wall and I can just guarantee 70 damage him. So it's like, as long as us are on him, we just kill him. I think I did a really good job. Like, it's very important in sword dittos to shut down the other sword Zipcaster. I think I did a really good job countering the other sword this game, so I, I was very happy with that. Here it was just me, though. We still got wiped, so I just tried to stall. 
I was about to recall, I'm pretty sure, and I just died there. So this was suddenly really bad again. Like, not too bad, we still have room, but like, this looks very scary. Um, so what I, what I did immediately is I had Storm get to this side, and had me get to this side. And like, whichever way they push, we have someone at an angle they have to deal with, and this gives us time immediately. And I'm not, like, rushing rain real quick. And then Arashi eventually just dives straight in and just lays with the rain maker and the splash and we get the kill. Um, so... Honestly, a lot of it's just mechanics. Like, against Graveyard, you have to have very good mechanics for their fights. Because they just take a lot of different fights. So, if you're not going to be able to beat the Sword and the Tetra and a lot of the 1v1s, it's just going to be very tricky. But luckily, I think me and Arashi were able to outduel their fronts a lot of the time. Uh... And that was really useful. And outside of that, I think we played really well to make sure we could continue to give jumps in. Uh, next up is against the tournament winning team. And this first half of Makomar, we played really bad. I don't know if it was like nerves or what, but we played really, really bad uh, on this part. Like at the start of this game. By the second half, we start playing better. But at the start, we mess up a lot. And their comp looks weird, but basically their comp is a very strong stamper comp. Like, everything they have enables the sword really hard. Because with this comp, the machine's more aggressive because it has a lot of chip. And so there's just a bunch of things to combo with the sword, and everything the sword does is very, very threatening. So, I, I think, like, this is where it can get kind of scary. Storm just goes a really over-aggressive at the start. I mess up on the machine and just hit, like, 85. Like, is it 85? No, 90. 55 plus 35. And then our crab here is really bad. Mecha should have just held the crabs. Like, we, we panic immediately and get wiped. So it's just, like, a really bad opening team fight. And again, same thing here. Like, Storm goes too far. We just need to clear them away. And then I, I managed to get the splash out with the help of Mecha. The sword gets in, but the Rapid is doing such good damage before Arashi can get to him. And by the time Arashi gets to him, there's so many other team. Like, Arashi still gets a kill and gets out, because Wiper is just a crazy main weapon. But, like, that was very scary. We got kind of lucky that Arashi, like, got in, get a kill, and got out. Uh, there's a Zipcaster from Kyo, but it, like, isn't really too, too threatening here. Like, we're able to avoid it fine. The tri strikes were really good for, like, keeping us away from Kyo's landing, so we weren't able to get that. And we just kind of split too much left and right. We should have... I should have cleared left side here. That would have been way more helpful to secure this side than that first. Uh, from here, I'm just kind of stuck. I have to try to fight my way out, but I'm already low, so I just get killed and zip. Like, the second I hit the wall, I'm, like, 30 HP. So I'm just gonna die to the sword. Um, wait, let me... Did I write that down? Yeah. There. Okay. Uh, from here, we had our good crab. Like, here's where we start to regroup defense-wise. I just really... I should have chased the splash. I backed off because I was located, but I should have just kept fighting here. Because now I'm in the middle of everyone, and I don't have a clear target. It's just going to be a trade. And we're also just fighting in the middle a lot. So, like, we're, we're taking fights in, in, like, mid, and they're just able to get kills and regroup immediately. Whereas we, we don't, like, have any... Like, we have no amount of our base to pull into. So it's just really poor aggression. Like, this entire first half is just us fighting in the middle. And that's, like, something we should know not to do. And then we also just don't get crab. Like, we don't get crab and our aggros are fighting in the middle. It's just entirely, like, basically throwing with this comp. You can't fight like that. Uh, Arashi and Mecha get a good crab shred. They score with a Booyah Bomb, which is really bad for us. I get kind of, like, sniped by the machine. They get another wipe. So like full first half is really difficult there. Uh, they zip here, which we're able to get a pick on. Storm's able to shred that really well. And then from here, I try to, like, take care of the splash, but I mess up and get chip damage. It's like, being directly in front of this comp is so difficult, because you're just getting chipped by so many things from so many different angles. It's like, it's, it's really hard to get, like, a clean pick and take space. Like, we're dying too fast to where our deaths aren't getting the value they normally do. Eventually, though, we finally, like, start to turn things around here. Because they get, I believe, yeah, here. They get greedy and score. And this score doesn't really do anything for them. And we end up getting a wipe. Or, like, almost a wipe. The splash kind of, like, stalls forever. I think we eventually kill him. It's just really awkward. Yeah. 
So here we finally get pain control. I toss the ball backwards. So I'm like, I, I want a zip to take attention, but unfortunately, Arashi goes down immediately. So because of that, my zip is basically useless because my idea with the zip was to help Arashi and then recall back. But because Arashi died, I'm like screwed and I had to zip away because that was really weak. So we messed up there. And then from there, things like slowly uh, pull together. Because we, we still have uh, like a bit better control here. Like now you see that even though we're still dying, Arashi's actually pulling them to the side now. Like Arashi's actually taking them to the left. Which means for once, the second I drop, I'm not instantly getting triple AoE'd, and I actually walk in. And then Arashi pulls them to the right, and we get, like, our stack set up. This is what we needed to do. Like, this is why you could not fight in mid, especially against a chip damage comp. Like, that's what was so hard. Like, we had to split their chip damage. Um, from here, I got Kyo. Arashi had Stamp. I went for the Rapid, and he had a really nice uh, kill on me. He played that really well. Uh, we still wiped, but, like, these are, these are, like, good fights we're mechanically messing up instead of just taking horrible engagements. Um. Here I get burst bond a lot. I force a crab. I manage to get out, which is huge, because that means that crab is now just stuck in the corner. And it's, like, essentially not even helping their team. But even then, like, even with that team fight win, we have no clams right now. Like, we have to wait and set up. Their sword goes left, and I kind of just... They killed the splash, so I kind of let my teammate deal with it. And from here, we just push to the right side. I was able to immediately combo the Rapid. I, I zip cast just in case the Rapid didn't die from the burst combo, because sometimes it happens. And I almost got the machine. If I, if I just flicked afterward, I might have been able to kill the machine, and that would have been super valuable, because they're just at Rhea for this. Um, I was hoping I would find a clam here and be able to get the football... And then give a jump to Storm with the Power Clam. That was the idea here. But there was no clams ahead. Or no, there was, but it was like on the right. I wouldn't be able to get it in time. And even then, even if I scored a Power Clam, that plus Storm's Power Clam would have actually been a tie, I think. Like, tie in points. And then because of that, I think they still win. Because we had, I think it was 59. Right? Yeah, 59 because I scored one clam here. So 59, then that's... 30, 39 with the power clam score, and then the power clam jump would have been 19. So even if it happened, we would have been one point short off the lead. And even if we got that, their penalty is so low that one power clam secures the game. It, it just would have been too difficult. We should have played for a longer push. Uh, we had to score because we did not get overtime. Because the basket is still open. Look at that, barely. The basket is open before the timer closes, so we don't get a second push. So really unlucky there. But the first half is just we need to take fights on the side. One thing that improved a lot compared to uh, our 20x, our uh, NA open run, is our counter picks. Mostly because the counter pick format was no longer complete garbage. But this counter pick was amazing. And it looks really weird on paper. You look at the KD screen and you're like, well, both you and Arashi go like hyper negative. But it doesn't matter, like at all. Um, we picked this map because this is a real map, and this means we can actually flank their AoE and split them up. And that, like, this is the game we won. Like, absolutely played well. Because I figured they would stick the same comp. And if they stick the same comp, this comp's just way worse here. Like, this comp is not actually good on this map mode. And so, like, I figured if they did that, we would have been fine. And so the idea with this, and I'll show overhead POV because I'm going to, like, die a lot. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me, one second. Um, the idea with this is that me and Arashi will just constantly go and die on the right side like one of us. But because of that, their AoE is completely split. Like, the bottom right and plat are so far away that it's going to just absolutely break their line. Like, before they kept us in front of us, but with this game, it's impossible for them to keep us ahead because we have QR players who can drop on the right. So, like, even if I drop and die, like, look how it pulls the splash and machine, and then they're not AoEing our plat. And so, like, either me and Arashi will go there. Arashi wanted to play our plat more. Yeah, Arashi, I mean, sorry, Kyo still has QR. He's playing, like, almost three mains worth. So, it's like, the idea is... One stamper will help with plat, and the other one just drops and pulls people. Like, again, here I just die, but now the splashing machine are here. And this means they only have two people. 
And especially in clam blitz where you need a bunch of clams to score, it's really bad. And at the same time, if I or Arashi get a kill, instead of just losing time, they also lose clams. Like, this is part of the reason why Clan Blitz is the best mode for, like, QR Stamper right now, easily. Like, easily best mode for Stamper in the game right now. You just, like, they are located for your Zip Caster. Your Zip gives recall jumps. You get better layouts to use your weapon in more places. You get to kill people and they lose clams instead of just dying normally. There's, like, so many things about this mode that just benefit Zip Caster and, st and like, aggressive Splatana play. So, like, if you're doing, like, Stamper Toucher or Stamper Wiper, it's so much better in Clams. It's ridiculous. And, like, yes, you can die and you might have Clams too, but most of the time your other two weapons are going to be the ones actually holding the Clams. Like, you're not going to be holding them because you're just going to go in. And, like, the thing is, if they mess up one time, their whole lineup breaks. Like, if they lose one AoE, because their comp is so dependent on, like, comboing with each other... They just lose so much pressure, and we just walk all the way in. It's still a bit tricky to push past here, because they had a lot of crab on right side, or like machine sword parry here, which is tricky. Here, we, I, I'm able to kill Kyo, so that kind of works out. And then I decide at this point, like, once I see the crab is being fought by Storm, which, by the way, Storm, I have no clue how this dude got up here. But if we did not die and he stayed alive up there, that would have been devastating. But I have no idea how he got here. Um, like, at all. He goes down after because the rapid sword of chain him, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah. I, I decided to just score, get a few clams in. So, I, I'm totally fine with that. But then again, here, you'll see the same thing. Like, I know I'm probably not going to win this fight, but, like, I don't care. The rapid is not shooting our plat. The machine is not shooting or throwing fizzies at our plat. I don't care. All that I care about is pulling them away so that these guys can walk in here. And then Arashi, same thing. And if Arashi gets away with it, like if they ignore him, now Arashi is just getting behind and grabbing clams and now I'm getting here and now the splash is in the middle and he dies. And then we just have right side and now they have to defend. Now whoever's on their plat like is just completely isolated. It's like being able to split up AOE comps is so, so important. And we did a really good job applying to that here. We did mess up here and send too many people on right, but Storm is at least able to jump out. And then Arashi is just going to run circles around a zip caster to stall for a while, and eventually, like, all zip, stall, get back. And eventually we fall apart, but it takes them a long time. And by the time, like, that's, again, Splash so good with this comp. By the time the front lines die, Crab, the fronts will be back. Like, Crab, and now we're here again. And it's just... Even though we're feeding over and over, it's like their team cannot set up to push. Ever. They just keep going back and back and back. And like this spot is so far away from the plat they need to be at. It's just... It just constantly deals with their team. And as long as their splashes hold, it's gold. Here, Storm went down and that was kind of like... Storm needed to run away from this fight. So here we actually have to stay here and now they're comp... Like for the first time... In two and a half minutes, their comp is actually set up now. So this is like, this is where they actually get their push. So, th like, that's the thing. The second they set up, we fall apart. They can't ignore the flankers, because then the flankers are just going to go and fight them. Like, if they sit on plat, we're just going to throw burst bombs and torpedoes behind them and stuff. And, like, we will just get a kill. Or they will have to turn and shoot anyway, and then our burst bombs are hitting more people. So it's like, they have to deal with it and push fast. But their comp really struggles at that. Because they need a lot of parry. In general, a lot of defending on Museum is defending by being aggressive. Like, you can't sit back here. You have to have someone, like, getting an angle. Like, that's how you play, like, quote, real maps. Like, you have to have, like, some kind of aggressive version of defense. From here, we just called to push. Like, Arashi's like, I have six, there's no one here. So I was like, screw it, let's just go. And then, like, what are they going to do down here? Like, this is so bad for them. And we just get a push out of nothing. Yeah, best defense is a good offense. Like, that is, like, exactly what we can do. Like, on better maps, our comp is just so much better because we have that as an option. It's just playing to that is really valuable. So we, we get our scores, we get a push. Eventually this dies. I try to, like, distract, whatever. 
And then from here, I help with defense because we have crab. Here, me and Arashi hang back because we already have crabs and they're not already here. So it's like we have enough specials and manpower to like brute force this this time. So we're able to like get enough fight wins. And then as soon as we get a pick, boop, Arashi's behind them. What are you going to do? You have to deal with Arashi. You can't ignore him. And he's just here again. Like... And now you have to leave the plot. Like, now Arashi's over here, like, taking care of the other power clan. They have to back up. It just messes with their entire positioning. So it's like, the second one kill happens, everything falls apart. And then from here, it's just regroup again. They try strike. And we're, and we're set up again. Here's another instance of brute forcing it, but here we just did it out of, like... Because we had crab. Like, usually when we don't flank is when we have a crab to fight with. Here I go down to a crab AoE behind the wall, which is actually really bad. But Storm's Crab is able to find two. And because Kyo is uh, in Zipcaster and they have two down, there's just no follow-up. So we're okay. And from here, we're just grabbing clams everywhere. Because they, they have a pity, but they need a lot of clams for a lead. So we just want to go grab things. You'll see, I literally just yeet a football off the map. I don't care. We are not pushing. Like, from here on out. We're not trying to push. We just want to grab all the clans on the map from them. So Mecha gets a really good shark here. And with the torpedo to help distract, it's just so perfect. Dude, torpedo is the one thing I'll miss if Arashi gets an actual Splatana kit. Like, don't get me wrong. It'll be a complete upgrade to have an actual special weapon instead of a stamp. But torpedo is so helpful with the positions Arashi plays. It's so crazy. Like, Torp is always in the most annoying spot. And then from here, we just got, like, three down, and they had no time. Like, they could not make it. Oh, yeah! By the way, you see how the overtime timer is glitched out? Yeah, for everyone but me, I think it was completely bugged. I have no idea what happened. But, like, the overtime timer broke. Like, Mecha called it out mid-game. He could not tell how much time they had left. We had to count manually. So like, or in this case, because I'm hosting, I, I called. I have no idea how this happened. I've never seen this before. But for whatever reason, the overtime thing completely broke for everyone's screen but mine. But for me, I saw they had like less than 10 seconds. So I was just like, okay, just, just fight them so they can't move. And nothing else matters. Like they will not make it because it runs out like here. Like they have no chance. But yeah, the overtime was completely bugged. So that was funny. Again, never seen it, no idea why that happened, but it happened there. Yeah, I, I don't know why it happens sometimes, but it's really weird. I'm guessing it's something to do with clan blitz, but I don't know. So normally for openings on this map, I go to left side, but because they have a heavy who's just going to sit on the tent, we can't go to left side because the heavy will just sit there and there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, so instead, I go right side. And also, you can also like stand behind the block and mid and poke with stamper, but you can't even do that because heavy reaches it. Like heavy shuts down two of the three stamper openings on this map. It's actually crazy. Like... Heavy absolutely demolishes Stamper on this stage. Normally, the matchup isn't that bad. But on this map, Heavy just destroys it. So instead, I had to go down here. Which is still okay, because I was able to just kill Kyo. And, like, sit here. I should have zipped, though. I went back because Arashi died, and we had an aggressive crab. So I didn't want to, like, lose space. But I should have just stayed and zipped with Storm. Or, like, climbed and jumped across on the right. Because me rotating here just took too much time. And then Storm died. If I was over there, he would have been fine. So this was, like, a really big mistake for me. It's just... Do not retreat on hallways. Do not retreat on hallways. You cannot walk backward on hallways. So it's, like, really basic mistake. I did just out of panic of, like, losing the fight. So, like, I, I totally cost this fight. This was a really big mistake. I tried to fight here, not because I expected to win, but I had zip. So if I pulled them here, I figured Storm could maybe burst bomb someone and I would zip live and then we could guard my landing. But I don't get my zip off before the heavy and sword combo me. So from here, we're just kind of chilling. 
And here's where we mess up. Arashi drops early, and I try to save him. I should have just let him die and held my Zipcaster. Because I went too close, and the crab AoE'd me, and I just died. It was just a, be a really big mistake. Because even if Arashi dies, we still have double crab. It's not that big a deal. We'll, we'll have him back in the fight. It's so, like, me dying there was really bad, and then Storm drops early and panics as well. So me and Storm just panicked here. Like, once Arashi died when we really should have. I do use substrafe on Stamper. It's just oftentimes, like, Squid Roll or Charge Slash helps for movement. So I don't use it as often, but I, I definitely still do. Um, here, are our, like, Storm Mecha gets picked afterward, and it is really bad. Like, I still get Zipcaster, but we no longer have a follow-up with it. And I have to Zip because the Stamper just has the edge here. And, like, that ledge just makes it way more difficult. I thought that might kill him, but it was too high. And from here, I helped Arashi, and I tag-teamed the heavy. And from here, I thought we might be able to cap, but we barely didn't. Arashi had a pop stamp for an ink tank refill, and I recalled. So it was really unlucky. Like, we almost were able to just cap the zone there, and that would have given us another chance. But from there, it's like we have to paint, we don't have anyone to paint, and it's just not, like, we can't get to zone. Mostly my bad. Like, a lot of panicking and walking backward and stuff, and it was just really awful. Um, speaking of awful is this game. This is officially my last Octobrush on Flounder Heights game and Octobrush kit game in general. Because, like, against good teams, I feel like this weapon is just... Not good. Because, like, you just poke with bombs that are way too slow for this meta, or you run in and your kill time is too slow. And, like, you cannot shark in. So, like, I did terrible the entire second half of this game. Like, I don't even have anything eventful to talk about for this game. Like, we individually did fine outside of me. It's just... Octobrush is just really weak here, and I just played it poor even with that, but it's like I should have just stuck Stamper. I've been debating Octobrush or Stamper here for so long, and I just decided to comfort pick it because I did it in the open. But like it just was not a good pick. Like I should have just stuck the sword. So like it was it was completely unnecessary. Yeah, Stamp Rush Mode is the highest DPS you can do. So, a lot of this was just me playing poor, and I, I don't even really have anything to add to it. Like, I think my teammates, for the most part, played really well. Uh, also, that breakaway almost happened. If the Rapid weren't there, I would have gotten, like, almost a lead. But, for the most part, everyone else played this well. It's just, I should not have picked Octobrush. Like, I really don't have too much to say. I don't want to keep this going too long, so we'll, we'll move on from that. Uh, we had two sets afterward. I did really well in them, but I, I'm not here to just, like, show off a really good ink block game I did or anything, so I don't- there's not much point to talking about them. This match was pain, and it was- uh, I'm still mad at this, and it has nothing to do with performance or anything. Look at my t-shirt. I didn't change the shirt. I have one sub of bomb defense. I lose one main, two subs QR. And I do not have enough QR to play for QR. I noticed it early at least, but because we changed host and I kept the room up for so long, I thought I had the shirt. And so because they hosted and we joined them, I needed to change my shirt again, and I did not notice because we were just talking about what to do in this set. And, yeah, now I have now I have a horrible build, and I do not have the QR to play the QR. So, immediately we're in a disadvantage. Like, I have to change my playstyle immediately and do midline stamper. And this does actually kind of cost it later. I'm not going to say, like, we would have won otherwise. I think that's kind of rude. But, it like, it, it, it did also have a drastic effect on how we played. And it, that really sucked. And I just feel bad about that. Because it's like, I felt if I could play to full QR, then we had a much better chance of winning. And I feel bad that I forgot. Because it's just, it's such an easy thing to remember. So it's just, 
I, I feel very bad about it. Uh, anyway, I got low, so I had to burn my zip here. I decided to, like, shark and try to babysit the Rainmaker, but I popped out too early. I thought this guy on the block was going to grab it, but he actually, like, just swims around it, and it just looked really weird. Like, you can see the ink ripples. So, I end up giving myself away early. I was trying to just get an ambush kill. Uh, and we'll see when I have my respawn time, but it's so long compared to, like... Cure is barely two seconds. It's like one and a half seconds with the gear I have or something. So it's like, it's a huge difference. And also like losing one of the special saver subs means I don't get zip caster either. So it's like, it's just really, really, really bad. So it's like here, normally I would just be aggressive. I would just zip and go. But because I don't have the QR, I'm just, like, I am playing so much more passive just to, like, make sure I don't feed. By the way, they pop three crab at the same time, I'm pretty sure. So afterward, I zip to try to help with the shield. And yes, I can zip even if the shield explodes. The armor will tank it. You'll be weak, but you can tank it. From here, I just made sure that guy died and I backed up. But you'll, you'll see my playstyle change because, like, once they push, that's when I realized. Because I was checking my map then and I noticed I didn't have it. So from here on out, I am playing, like, defensively. Like, ever since their push started, I noticed. I'm like, okay, I have to play passive. I grab. I scream that there's a splash behind. And the splash actually reroutes. He doesn't stay behind. He goes bottom left, which is, like, a huge mistake on the splash end. So we just get a free checkpoint. And I just get a kill. And it's, like, really good. Here, I decide to just grab and go for it. Because I figured by the time they get here, like, I can go here before the brush kills me. So I figured I'd just more than likely get it. So we got the jump across, and that was huge. And, like, you'll see here, like, I am not taking risks. Like, normally I would go in the face of the of the splash because it's a really bad death for him. But here, I, like, I'm close to zip. I cannot risk. And I kill the crab. But, like, I cannot, like, do too much. Like, even here when I go in, I'm immediately backing out. I'm not risking anything. I'm only going in because I have zip. So it's like, I'm, I'm very careful to walk that line. So, like, my, my play style just changes a lot. Same thing here, like, here I go for it anyway, but, like, this death is worse. Like, three second respawn time instead of one and a half. Like, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot. Mana bomb defense? Yeah, they're trying to break splash combos. I don't hate it. Here, none of them were top left. I am going. This was just simple. They are not positioned well. Run! <laughs> here I go for a kill. I die. We regroup. And here's where things start to get scary. And the reason things get scary is normally how we keep the splashes to get good crab spots is the Splatanas just run in, pull people away, and, like, take fights. But because I'm not max QR, I can't do that. So instead, I get a really good, like, set of burst bomb snipes without peeking crab. And so I was very, very lucky we got that kill. And then I helped with this, so we cleaned up fine. And from here, I wanted to run rain left. Because bottom left is a good stalling spot. Spot, excuse me. But they send someone here. They kill Arashi, and I'm like, nope. Never mind, we are going off the map. <laughs> Never mind. And here is, like, textbook opportunity to just W key. And I can't. Because I'm close to Zip. And so I cannot go. I do not have the QR and Saber to get it back. So instead, I rotate. And here, I needed to hit that charge slash. If I hit that charge slash, we would have been fine. But from here, the slope blocks, I had to zip, and we just lose lead. 
And it just sucks. It, it sucks. If I could run in front with QR or hit the charge slash, we would have been able to, like, have a chance. But, yeah. And it just, I, I felt really, really bad about it. It's just... Again, no way to know if we would have won if I had it, but it's like, I knew this put us at a more of a disadvantage than we were used to, and I just felt bad. Like, it, it sucks for that. Because it's just such an easy-to-avoid thing. So that, that sucked. Um, and then, like, it sucked more because this was next. How we won this game is crazy. Brian zones with flings a triple splash against double Splatana should not have been close. This is so in their favor map mode combo wise, it's not even funny. Stamp is terrible here. Wiper is weak here. Zip, not, not zip, but QR is weaker here. It, it's so bad. But we played crazy this game. Like, we just played so well. I don't know if it was just the last game and, like, how we felt afterward, but we were ready. So, me and Arashi go in. Takoban gets me, but he gets trapped. Arashi is able to get a pick on them behind. And then it ends up being, like, a complete snowball in our favor, and they don't contest zone. I throw a burst bomb. It hits the pole instead of painting zone. And I'm just... I'm going up. Me and Arashi have to go up and play for kills here. There is no choice. We cannot just hold an area... We have to get kills. Like, we have to. Or they will crab and they will get all the way to our base from crabs here. That's what makes this so one-sided. Like, we have to play for kills. So me and Arashi, like, even though we're getting burst bombed to all hell, we're trying anyway, because we have to. And, like, the second they crab, it's just, it's over, dude. Like, crab, second crab, third crab, missile, paint zone... Like, we are never holding that. So, we, we try to salvage it. It's out. And we go to the right side. This guy's low, so I just burst bomb him. And from here, I zip cast for the crab. I am zipping crabs constantly. I have to. So, I am, I am going straight in here. I should have hit that. That was a really, really odd aim moment for me. But I still I still kill him. Uh, Arashi throws stamp. Doesn't work out. And here we're just kind of painting and trying to hold. I get the flings and the flings are really overextends for me. And anytime the flings is there, I can just combo him because of the charge slash. Uh, we get the kill on the crab. And then from here, same thing. Have to go in. Only difference is this time we have a crab. Luckily, one of their splashes feeds. So we get very lucky there. But from here, it's like we need to crab and go. So the second storm crabs, me and Arashi are just going. And this time we actually get a kill. One of their splashes gets behind, but we get two kills, and so I just turn. Like, I even charge slash, and I turn so my charge slash paints. Like, I know we will win this fight. I do not want them getting zoned. And we barely hold. Their crab here is a big mistake because it's just going to die, and now they don't have crab. I have to recall away, so it's a bit scary, but it's fine. Uh, the only downside is Arashi goes down here. But even then, like, he had to go in because they have another crab. So it's like, I try to charge slash it. The angle's a bit awkward. And from here, I'm like trying to hold for points because I, can, I can't back up. If I back up, I'm going to just die. So like, I'm dead regardless. I might as well just get points unless we try to fight. And then we, we lose this, but we still hold our right. If they get far right, like that little bend where the grade is, we lose the game. So like, we are just, I am immediately rotating to keep them off. Like that is priority one. I get a cap on zone. But, like, I don't care. I am just keep them off the right. Me and Mecha just keep them off. We cannot let them crab there once or we lose the game. Like, the entire game. So that's just priority number one. From here, we get zip. Zip the crab. I actually f mess up and go down here. I get greedy. But their splash is so low and gets pushed off that we kill them. And then this second crab, by some miracle only gets a Rashi. Missiles go in, but then the missiles are gone. We get a pick. We have two crabs and we have to fight because we used both our crabs. 
And this is really bad. Like, this looks good, but it's like, okay, we have no crab now to get a stagger. So, like, somehow my zip is gonna have to just be a god play and kill three people. Like, it's the only thing we have. And by some miracle... That's exactly what happens! <laughs> and it does! <laughs> And the miracle has occurred, and I am screaming at my team. I am like, free down, we hold this! Because the other person popped crab! So, like, he will kill me, but now they have no crab! And they don't have missile! And, like, Arashi dies, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. Because he has cure, and we're back, and we paint, and they get missile again, and it doesn't matter, we win the game. Holy crap. <laughs> no, I popped off. That was disgusting. Yeah, well, there's the code, so. There you go. Oh my god. And then Flounder happened and we lost Flounder. But that was a crazy game. That was the craziest game of the tournament. The fact that we won Brine Zones against that comp and did that well to where they never got our right to win the game. We had to play so well for that. I, I am so proud of these guys for that. That was so good. Anyway. Flounder I'm going to kind of look at from an overhead. But Flounder was difficult. It's not the greatest wiper map. But it's still a map that's like open for us. So it's still like fairly neutral. And we do T-Tech here instead of a second crab. This game's kind of like, it's a lot of fighting. And I'm like, not exactly sure what to pinpoint. I feel like part of this is just individually, we lost a lot of fights we shouldn't have. Like, especially me here, I didn't perform particularly well. Still way better than when I did Octobrush, but um, definitely better. But it was just very, uh, very tricky to say the least. Um, a lot of this opening was really bad, because, like, we're just rushing left. Like, we know we need to send a Rashi on the right, but we're not. Um, like, it takes forever to get a Rashi on the side, and by the time he gets there, they actually set up here. The only way this, like, wasn't a good push for them is we gotta pick on the left. Yeah, it's like, Wiper, Wiper's just very tricky to fight things here. It's hard to play to its range, because everything has angles. So it's like, you have to just get a lot more charge slash off, and that's not really what it's as good at. It's much more playing the strafe speed. No, Flounder Heights is a great map. This is, this is the best map in the game. Uh, like, right now. Not the best map mode, but, like, overall. This was a good setup. Their crab here was just really good. And Mecha gets picked. But, like, even this is fine. Like, we still are kind of okay. Until Robbie gets behind. But, like, a lot of this game is just very scrappy fights where no one really, uh gets an advantage so not not too much happens here like this entire thing has just been scrappy fights um i feel like me and arashi got a bit greedy here i get the brush but then i go in like i got the brush and i should have gone an angle i should not have tried to rush in and like get like i wanted to get up here but i could not have made it there I think we need a lot of practice in this map against Tri Strike. Stamper's good here. It's just Octobrush is very good here, and I'm very comfortable on Octobrush, so I've always kind of stuck it here. And I, I just should have, like, fully gone for Stamper. I really miss this kill, which is really bad. I, I needed to get that kill. If I got that kill, we would have slowed down the push so much sooner. So it's really, really big mistake there for me. So I was, I was very disappointed at, like, not getting that kill. But, uh, anyway. Um, this setup, like, same thing. We just, it's, a lot of it is just, I think Taco Bond just did really well. We really struggled dealing with the try. Like, the try just kind of played this lower area, 
and just kind of constantly poked us and stuff, and it was really difficult to take care of the try in this position for our comp. And so I think, like, him knowing to play uh, in the trench like that was really good. So, that was uh, definitely a big part of it. Like, even here, it's like, look at this. It's so... Like, try is so good here. Um, we did get one opportunity, though, which was the setup here. Um, this was our main chance to push. And we just, we messed up the call, and we still traded. But, like, if we didn't trade, that would have been big. But here's, like, the crab's gone. We cleared the trench. This was, like, the setup we needed to be able to push. Like, we needed to win this fight here. And it started off really well. Like, we got the kill, and Arashi was sharking for Taco Bond, but he just throws stamp too early. We should have just abandoned the trench entirely and let them take trench. And if they take trench, we just run right. I think that was the big mistake there. If we just played to take here, because, like, this spot's pretty open. And we would have been okay. So it's like, we should have, uh... We should have taken this right side, to me. But, unfortunately, we didn't, and this is where the run ends. Um, so yeah, we went out to the two Japanese teams... The fourth and second place team, or sorry, fourth and first place teams, respectively. Uh, this team beat Destiny Bond, and then after that, lost to uh, the other Japanese teams. The top four was just Starvers and uh, three JP pickups. So, I think we still did very well. It was still definitely better. A lot less obvious mistakes. And, like, I'm not here to do a full analytical breakdown, more just kind of talk about the run. But I I'm happy with it overall. The only thing I feel really horrible about is the Splatfest T, because, again, just very avoidable. But I think, uh, overall, I think it was pretty good for us. I think we had a good run. Definitely a lot of improvement. So, uh, I'm hoping we can do... I'm hoping, like, the next tournament we do is a bit weird, because it's a gimmick tournament. It's uh, IDYIL, so there's, like, restrictions. We're going to have an interesting comp to try there, but obviously it'll it'll be very different. I am hoping we get more options after the patch because it is very difficult for our lineups. Like, this meta is not really great for us. And Storm much prefers playing something more aggressive like T-Tech than Splash and, like, more defensive. So, um, I I'm happy with our progress. I think this tournament taught us a lot of how we need to practice to get better. And it's good to see that we're continuing to make progress. That's always the goal. So, I am very happy with it. Will we take part in the Turf War Tournament? Maybe. Um, but yeah, I, I'm gonna just kinda... We're gonna keep practicing from here. I was happy with it overall, and, uh... We'll, we'll see where we go from here. So. Yeah. Um, good run, though. I think. I'm happy with how we did, and it was very fun.